This conference will now be recorded. So, do you know any female ruler in history of Azerbaijan? Well, yeah. Uh, oh, not in Azerbaijan, but like oh, so in the not in, not in Azerbaijan in the world. Let's say, for example, okay. give me an example. Uh, Budaka. Oh, I don't, I don't know him. I don't know him or uh, sorry, sorry her. Who is? So, which empire he, he, she was ruling? Can you please give uh, me information she was... about that. Boudicca was ruling Celtic England. Ah, in England, yeah. yeah. Uh, for example, uh, Elizabeth, for example, or Queen Mary in England, I, as far as I remember, yes. So they were women, female rulers. So, for example, Elizabeth, the Queen Elizabeth is very famous in UK history, as far as I remember. She was ruling. Uh, England during the 16th century. Am I right? Yeah. Uh, okay. So, do you remember which qualities uh, do they, did they have? For example, Elizabeth, or you, as you mentioned, uh, one of them. To which qualities do usually um, the women, female rulers have in comparison to male rulers? Have you ever co compared two of them? female ruler and ma male ruler? Oh, uh, well, actually, Boudicca and Queen Elizabeth are very different because mm -hmm. Boudicca was like a very, very fierce queen and, uh, well, not a queen, but like a leader or a ruler of a tribe. Uh -huh. uh, and uh, Queen Elizabeth mm -hmm. wasn't so fierce. Uh -huh. Okay, so today I'll talk about, thank, thank you very much, it's very interesting, uh, but uh, today I'll talk about um, the first female ruler in Azerbaijan, so uh, uh, he, she was actually uh, Tomris, Tomris is very famous in Azerbaijan history, not only in Azerbaijan history, but also in the history of Turkish Turkish people, Turkish, Turkish republics, let's say. So um, the first female ruler, but before that, I, uh, I would like to uh, explain one more important uh, thing. So uh, do you remember I, in our previous lesson, I told you that uh, there wasn't any state in the northern part of Azerbaijan, yes, during the Marna yeah. Kingdom. So, mm -hmm. but, but there were there were some tribes, Turkish tribes living in the northern part of Azerbaijan. Let me show on the map certain tribes living in the northern part of Azerbaijan. One of them was called uh, this part. Do you see Chur, Chur River? It's, it's passing through the Azerbaijan, middle of the Azerbaijan territories. So, and Aras River, yes. In these territories, there were tribes living in Azerbaijan where they were called Masakets, Masaget tribes. So they were the part of uh, the Turkish tribe, famous Turkish tribe, Sak people, Sak and Masaget tribes. Do you understand me? Masaget and Sak tribes. They were okay. Turkish tribes. They lived in Azerbaijan, but in the northern part of Azerbaijan, not the southern part of Azerbaijan, yes. So the, although they didn't have state, yes, they were, living just, they were living just tribes, yes, but actually they played a very crucial role in Azerbaijan history. Why? Because uh, so no one, uh, no one actually occupied northern part of Azerbaijan because of these tribes, they always protected our lands from the occupation of enemies. So today I'll talk about this tribe, Masaget and the Sakap tribes living, uh, they, who were living in Azerbaijan, northern part of Azerbaijan, between Chur and Aras rivers. Okay, Manaj, how are you? I'm good. So you are late, I am not sure why. Sorry. Okay, what about Ayhan? He isn't here. He's so, joining. Where, uh, okay, we are talking about the uh, northern part of Azerbaijan, yes. Do you remember our previous lesson? I told you there, there wasn't any state in northern part of Azerbaijan, yes. Do you remember? Yep. I hope yes. So, 
but what about northern part of Azerbaijan? Uh, so, in northern part of Azerbaijan, the famous uh, Turkish tribes, Masagets and uh, Saka people, were living. So they had not state, so they did not form any state. So they were just tribes. But although they didn't have state, but they always protected northern part of Azerbaijan from the uh, from the attacks of enemies or neighboring countries. Today I'll talk about uh, Saka people or Masaket tribes. So Masaket tribes actually. Um, let me to... So leader of Masaket tribes uh, was uh, actually uh, the famous female ruler, Tomiris. Tomiris, the famous female ruler, uh, Tomiris. So the Masaket tribes, uh, actually, uh, let's say they 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 were very famous uh, for their bravery or fail, fail because of uh, being so fearless. So always they protect their homeland. They love their country. So uh, the when once uh, any ruler, any emperor wanted to occupy Azerbaijan land, Azerbaijan land. So uh, actually, they were afraid of Masaget tribes. Why? Because of Masagets. So they were very brave and the fearless. So they were the skillful warriors. So always uh, prevented enemies to occupy Azerbaijan territory. So anyone, anyone, any ruler wanted to occupy Azerbaijan territories. So they always thought about Masagets. So sometimes they hesitated to attack the Azerbaijan because of Masaget tribes. Did you understand where they were living? They were living in the northern part of Azerbaijan between Aras and Chur River. Okay, Masaget yeah. tribes, Sak, Sak and Masaget tribes. So once again, they didn't have any state, yes. So because as 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 you remember, so I told you there wasn't any state in the northern part of Azerbaijan in the past, yes. So first state is uh, is actually a Albanian state. I'll talk about that. Okay, so Masaget and Saka people. Today, most probably, they were living in today's Karabakh, uh, Genzia, Kazakh, Tovuz regions of Azerbaijan. So, most probably, okay, approximately, let's say. Mm, so, but uh, have you have you ever heard about Achaem Achaemenid's empire? Achaemenid's Achaemenid's empire, Achaemenid's Achaemenid empire, or uh, Emperor Cyrus Cyrus the Great. Have you ever heard about that? The Great Persian Empire, Persian, Persian Empire. Yes. Achaemenids. Oh, can you please tell me, talk about that? Aikhan, do you have information about that? Famous Achaemenid Empire. Um, Achaemenids. Yeah. No? Okay, tell me what about you? Achaemenid's hmm? Empire. Have you ever heard about Cy Cyrus the Great, Emperor of Achaemenids? No one? No. Melech? I don't know much about it. Ah, okay, so Achaemenid's Empire was the most powerful empire uh in the uh, 6th and the 5th century a, a, a B, B, C, actually not ad sorry so uh, it was established by famous emperor uh, the ruler Cy Cy cyrus the great cyrus the great i'll i'll write in chart cyrus the great the great cyrus the great so he was the founder of Hamanid empire so uh, they almost he they won a great victories and almost occupied many parts of the uh, this as you see so colorful areas red color yes they almost included to great Achaemenid empire so I mean he he never he, he never lost any battle in his times okay because Cyprus the Great was the so powerful king so created the strongest empire. Uh, one of the strongest empire in the history, yes. So the, he occupied uh, today's Turkish territories, Iraq, Syria, Northern Africa, Central Asia, so um, Iran, okay. 
So almost the, the, all these colorful territories included the Achaemenid Empire. So, but one problem was that, so the king Cyprus the Great also wanted to occupy Azerbaijan territories. So what do you think? Do you think that he, uh, what was the obstacle, uh, why he couldn't, uh, so he, he hesitated, why he didn't um, directly occupy Azerbaijan territories, northern Azerbaijan territories I'm talking about. Was it because of the Massagets? Yes. Can you imagine, Jalil, so it was empire, but Massagets, they were just tribe, yes. So so let's say the, this such a great emperor just was, emperor just was afraid of Massagets tribes, little tribes. So why? Because they were very brave, fearless, and skillful warriors. So that's the reason. So, but uh, the Cyprus the Great, in order to occupy Azerbaijan, northern part of Azerbaijan, uh, he had to do something to defeat Masaket tribes. So he he did not uh, he did not directly involve war with Masagets. As I mentioned before, it was not so smart decision. Why? Because they they were very skillful warriors. But the Cyprus the Great uh, used a diplomacy, marriage diplomacy. To, to make uh, Massagets dependent on him. So, do you know what's the marriage diplomacy? Marriage diplomacy? Mm, no. Malek? So, any idea? Please uh, approach question logically. Maybe because the diploma. What? Is it a diploma? Uh, so, no, marriage diplomacy is that in order to avoid war, you use, uh, so you, you propose marriage and you want to build a good relationship with the another state's uh, family members. So you propose marriage to, for example, the members, family members of the another state's ruler. Okay, for example, Cyrus the Great, the emperor of Achaemenid Empire, so in order to avoid war, he first proposed marriage to Tomiris. So Tomiris was the leader of Massagate tribe. You, 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 do you remember? Yes, the Tomiris yes. was the leader of Massagate tribe. So, so do you think that uh, Tomiris uh, accepted accepted his proposal, marriage proposal? No. No. Why do you think? Um, he didn't accept marriage pr proposal of marriage of the Cyprus the Great. So let's say that, uh, so uh, let's say you are Malach, you are Tomlis, yes. So yes. Uh, let's say that uh, the Cyrus, Cyrus, Cyrus the Great proposed you marriage. So let's say that in order to uh, what? In order to make you dependent on him, yes. Yeah. So that's the reason. So uh, the uh, the Tomlis was very clever woman. Yes. So he realized that uh, the Cyprus the Great just wanted just to make Masaki tribe dependent on him. So do you understand me? Yes. So do you do you, do you think that Tomlis this has received accepted his proposal? No. Yes. No, they did not accept his proposal. So what happened, do you think? The next, what happened? I yeah. found what happened next. He went to war. Yeah, of course, because there wasn't any other way. So Tomlis did not accept him, but Azerbaijan was very important, strategic place for Achaemenid's empire to occupy the uh, the Caucasus region. So without that, it wouldn't be possible to expand empire's territories. So that's the reason Cyprus the Great so decided to start to wage the war with Masaket tribes. So uh, so actually at the beginning, Tomris did, uh, did her best to uh, stop war. So he didn't want to uh, war lead to the bloodshed, yes. To avoid bloodshed, and so that's the reason 
he did his best except accepting the, um, the marriage, marriage proposal by the Cyprus the Great. But so uh, collected, Cyprus the Great collected a huge army and attacked Azerbaijan. So what, what do you think? Uh, what is the result? What was the result of the first battle between them? Which one was the winner? Cyrus. Yeah, why? Do you think that he was capable to it defeat Azerbaijan tribes? So no, tell me please. Do you think Cyprus the Cyprus the Great was capable to defeat Masakate tribes? No. Yes, Ayhan. Yeah. Why do you think? Because he was because, emperor. Because his tribe was very very um, powerful and. Yeah, you are right. But the beginning at the beginning of the battle. So Masagate actually was superior to Iranian military forces, but what did uh, Cyprus the Great do? He used, uh, he actually used, uh, let's say that a trap. So uh, what was a trap? Actually, I'll I'll give you text. So can you please read yourself? This is the trap. Please uh, focus on the screen and read text, and I'll ask you opinion okay so uh, when once the war started yes so uh, the the intentionally Cyprus the great intentionally uh, withdrew and retrained from the war and uh, Thomas realized that and understood that actually uh, so he was uh, he was the winner she was the winner yes but actually it was trap yes so what was the trap yes. What was trap? The trap uh, was the, the trap was um they put wine mm -hmm. uh, and the other people didn't know what wine was and they decided to drink it and then they got drunk which made the um, Persians uh, huh? attack them easily because they were um, easy to defeat because they were drunk. They were funny. Yes, perfect. Yes, perfect. So they they easily got drunk immediately. So the Persians killed many of the Masagate tribes by using trap. So, but also uh, even even uh, so, the Cyprus the Great killed. So not killed but enslaved the son of Tomaris. So captured as a slave. So but the the son of Tomaris son of Tomaris. And uh, he he told to Cyprus the Great, please allow me to suicide myself because uh, for massacres, uh, for enslaving was just how can I say? So shameful thing, yes, yeah? shame, shame. Just they never uh, experienced this kind of situation, being enslaved by someone, especially son of the Thomas, yes. So yeah. that's the reason he suicide, actually. So. When Tomris uh, heard about that, as a mother, he was very angry. So he felt pain, his, the death of his son, but uh, his revenge, feeling of revenge, and uh, uh, made him to be more stronger than ever before. Okay. So Tomris swore for the revenge and, uh, and uh, let's say, challenged the Cyprus the Great to join another battle. Okay. So, uh, so another battle. Just uh, the Tomris called all the massacres living in Azerbaijan for the revenge. So he col she collected huge army, and uh, in the second battle, uh, the Tomris defeated uh, the famous the Iranian ruler Cyrus the Great. He was uh, uh, captured. Yeah, he was captured and actually uh, so and. Let's say that uh, the, his his dead body found uh, among the uh, dead soldiers of the Iran. So what happened next? You know how how Tomer is revenged? Uh, I'm confused. So, yes. What? Janet? I'm confused what about you... to the left. What? Sorry, I didn't hear. I'm confused about the pictures, uh, the pictures uh -huh. uh, of the thunderstorm. No, no, uh, but, sir, so, 
Yeah. This um, one? This one? <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. But just this is just uh, how can I say uh, this is just a uh, chart or scheme I, I use. I forgot to remove this part. Sorry. <laughs> you are right. So in oh. local, yeah. I usually use the same uh, presentation template for preparing my lessons. I forgot to erase this part. Sorry. You are right. You are very attentive you usually focus on the, the, the really uh, minor mini details in my presentation so thank you very much for reminding me i'll, I'll raise it no worry okay did you get it so what do you think uh how how tom is uh uh let's say revenge the uh, revenge the death of her son and save the homeland Malach. yes so can you imagine the, this uh, such a great and powerful king and uh, ended his life under the knife of Tomris, just the leader of a little tribe? Yeah, they were really foolish into so, falling. So, uh, Manish, do you think that uh, so uh, it was right decision? Uh, not accepting the proposal of uh, Cyprus the Great because she lost his son as a result of not accepting. Which one was important, uh, losing his son or losing his country's independence? Losing his um, son. Yeah, why do you see? Because that's more valuable than um, the country's country. thing. Because he was, she was responsible for her for for her country. Yeah. Yes, everyone believed that she, if she is, she was ruler, and he, she, it was his responsibility, her responsibility to protect homeland. Not only for that, being the ruler, but also uh, that was their homeland. So without protecting that, it wouldn't be possible to survive. So that's the reason Tomaris. Uh, I think that Tomaris did the best decision. So. Uh, it was the only way. So uh, rather than accepting the proposal of marriage, which will, would make the Tomris dependent on Cyprus the Great, so actually he protected his home, so her, her homeland. Actually, I usually confuse he, her or him <laughs> because so although he she was the female ruler, yes, but uh, her actions and uh, her bravery. So usually compared to for male rulers, actually, that's the reason. Uh, have you ever heard, heard about the famous Azerbaijani the proverb? Um, it says that uh, Aslan Ekcai Dish Solmas, the famous, if you know Azeri language very well. Yes, most probably. <laughs> okay. So I'll ask several questions, but before that, let's watch one video about uh, Tom is okay. Let me share my video with you. Tom is the great. Where was that? Tom is, yeah. <clears throat> so, sorry, I cannot share my screen. So, but uh so in the video you most probably you will hear tomris was that uh, uh was that massacre tribes were living in central asia not azerbaijan okay don't confuse that because before coming to azerbaijan actually they were living in uh, central asia in kazakhstan okay so and then moved to azerbaijani territories so then well, of course uh he so uh, according to the historical sources she was azerbaijani ruler of massacre Okay, watch video, please. I'll give you four minutes. Please watch, and I'll ask a question from the video, okay? Uh, did you understand me, Melach and Jalil, Ayhan? Yes. Okay, perfect.
I watched the video. Same. <clears throat> Same. So have you watched? Yes. Oh, perfect. So, uh, Jadid, what about you? Oh, yeah, I've finished the video. Okay, perfect. So, did, did you get this point they were living in Kazakhstan? Yes. Yeah. So, why? Uh, because, as I mentioned before, so before coming to Azerbaijan, they were living in Kazakhstan. Uh, this is a really controversial, controversial issue whether uh, Tomris was ruling Azerbaijan, Azerbaijan territories or Kazakhstan. So Kazakhstan historians usually claim that uh, this is our ruler. So, but uh, according to the history, so especially Herodot, do, do you know Herodot? Herodot's famous historian, yes, ancient historian. So according to his information writings, so it it becomes it becomes clear to us that actually Masagets were living beyond Aras River. So if they were living beyond Aras River, Aras River is located in Azerbaijan. Yes, it, that that's the reason. So my understanding is that they were living in Azerbaijan according to historical source. So the arguments of most probably arguments of uh, Kazakhstan historians, I, it doesn't actually fit to the uh, the writings of the famous and ancient historians. Did you understand me? Yes. <laughs> I hope yes. So, uh, Manaj, uh, so can you please talk about um, the end of famous ruler Cyprus the Great? How, how was how his life ended? He got beheaded behaved yes so and yeah. did you and he, did lost the war. And he so, got put in a blood yes so skin uh and uh, full of the blood and uh, so actually tomris took revenge okay his death of his son so uh Jalil, what about you what did you get from the video so we didn't talk about that. Uh, did you get any new new idea, new thing? So let's say we didn't talk about that. Uh, no. No, they all of them was actually the same. Yes. Okay. Perfect. Uh, so so actually, uh, even we we don't have any information about Tomris. So uh, whether they, uh, she was real historical person or not, but so the information about the Tomris actually collected from the uh, historical tales or uh, so poetry, epic poetry, something like that. Okay, mm, what else I would like to, let's summarize topic. So can you please, each of you, tell me at least one quality Good quality of Tomris as a ruler. You can write either you you can write either in chat or uh, tell me directly. Okay, uh, let me choose. Yeah, okay. Write at least one quality of Tomris as a female leader, and make it comparison to male rulers. So, for example, Iranzu, she was brave. Yes, you are right. So any any other thing? I and the manage. Any quality of Tomris as a female rule, leader, ruler? Maybe she was uh, she was a quick decision maker. Am I right as a ruler? Do you understand me? Ayhan, so tell me at least one. Smart, yes, smart. She was smart and quick decision maker. Yeah. I call him this quick decision maker because so when he, she was proposed marriage, yes, uh, got the marriage proposal from the uh, Cyprus the Great, so he did not receive it. 
yeah she, sorry she did not receive it after <laughs> i usually confused okay why because so you it was really an uh, important decision for uh, her mother country and uh, motherland so he decisively it is she decisively uh actually uh refuse to accept uh Sacre the great's proposal marriage that's the reason i usually uh call her quick decision maker so what else good mother she was um strategic strategic yeah so yeah. yes you're right good strategic you are right what else Mm, smart. Hmm? Smart. What? Sorry. Smart. She was smart. Yes, we already, uh, we already mentioned that. Yeah. Okay, not smart. smart. She was brave, smart, quick decision maker, good mother, and uh, she didn't want to actually uh, bring the country to the war, but actually, uh, in order to protect country and uh, so so he realized that the war was inevitable so that's the reason so he she collected army after he uh, after her the son's death so and uh uh joined the war so but what about his son jamie uh, Jalia, sorry what about his son what quality good quality did he have his son Excuse me, I didn't hear. So my question is that, what good quality did he, uh, her son, Tommy's son, have? Uh, was it? Uh, I don't remember. So yes, let me to explain. So do you remember while he was captivated by the uh, Persian? Yes. He decided to suicide himself. Why? Because uh, the, let's say that sense of pride. So, uh, sense of uh, so sense of so she, she, she actually he felt shame shameful for so he was captivated because uh, the massa gets never captivated with someone else. So that's the reason he suicide himself. Yes, he sacrificed his life for the country. But uh, as, as his mother, uh, he was not so smart. Why? Because and uh, they, uh, uh, after the a Persian army retrained from the military camp, uh, they started to get uh, wine, to drink wine. So uh, that's the reason he was not so smart, well, like the, his mother. But so, and good quality is that he suicide himself for the country's sake of the country, because he realized that uh, it was a very shameful event, not only for her, his mother, but for, also for the Masakets. The Masakets never, never uh, agreed to be captivated by someone else. Even they were prepared to, uh, even they were ready for sacrifice their life, not to be captivated by someone else. Okay? Okay. Good, perfect, and so let's do quiz today, okay? Let me share my screen again. So actually it's crossful, so, uh, but I, I'll not help you today, so you should do and I'll ask your opinions, okay, about the questions. I'll, I'll share my screen, one minute. Ah, uh, yeah. Can you see my desktop? Let me share with you. Yes, I can see. Uh, sorry.
Okay, so. Okay, please start to do quiz. And um, so you have, let's say, four minutes, okay? If you don't see properly, please tell me. Let me know if you don't see properly. Is number six meant to be in capitals? No, must get struggled against. No, uh, which empire, which state they were struggling against? Protect their homeland. Yeah. Achaemenids. Am I right? No, I, I didn't get your question. Sorry. So you asked why it's written in capital letter, yes? Jalil? Yeah. So, um, no, there is not a specific reason, just I wrote, I don't know why. You can use either um, the capital letter or just another. I'm stuck on question seven. Seven? The Massagets yes. belong to the famous... Uh, so Massagets, they were part of famous uh, Saka people. Sak, Sak, let me write in chat. Sak people. Saka people. So they were a uh, Turkish tribes living lived in Azerbaijan, in the northern part of Azerbaijan. So the Massagets tribes, they were also belong to Saka people, okay? Sorry, it should be in capital letters, Saka people. Oh, okay. Is it easy or difficult to get the questions? Easy. <laughs> oh, okay. so. Difficult. Mm -hmm. It's easy. No, perfect. So it's not actually so easy because you understood topic, I think. Well, that's the reason it's, 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 it seems easy actually to you. Okay, if you have already finished, so I'd like to explain these questions one by one.
So the first question is about, uh, so it says that he was one of the powerful ruler of his times. However, his life ended under the knife of Azerbaijan ruler Tomlis, who was the most powerful ruler and uh, his life ended. Uh, oh, Ihan, yes. what's your, Cyrus the Great, yes. So let me to write the correct, correct version of it. So Cyrus the Great, yes. Yes. Janet, what about question number two? Uh, the ruler of the Massagets. Oh, sorry, question number one, actually. Oh, uh, uh, the northern part of Azerbaijan. Yes, northern part of Azerbaijan, knows actually. So, thank you very much, Ayhan. Uh, what about you? So, question number uh, six. Yes. Uh, 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 Persian. Persian, yes. Persian or Akamanid Empire, yes. Um, perfect. And Malaj, question number seven. Oh, oh okay. you are, we already talked about Saka people. So, yes. question number four. Question number four. I didn't explain that, actually. Oh, um, I won't try. So, no, let me to explain. So it says that there are many toponyms, uh, names, place names, yes, in Azerbaijan even today, uh, which are related to Saka people, to Masagets. So I'll I'll tell you which territories are they. First of all, Zakatala. Have you ever heard about Zakatala territory of Azerbaijan district? Zakatala no. district. Zakatala. Do you think any similarity to Sak Sak? Saka, Saka Tala, yeah? Yeah, was it, um, was it like, did they, did they belong to the um, Mesagets? So, no, uh, the tr name of the tribe was, was actually Masaget, yes, but the yeah. Masaget tribe was a part of the famous Sak tribes. They were the similar, okay? But oh, yeah. Masaget was one of the one of the tribes, uh, one of the group of people, tribes living in, uh, also included to Sak people. So, okay, Sak or Masagets. They were the same tribes, actually, but they are mentioned in different names in the history. Sak or Masagets. Sometimes Masagets, sometimes Sak. So they came to Azerbaijan, uh, actually, uh, 7th century uh, BC. So then they were living in northern part of Azerbaijan, not southern part. Uh, so. The between the Chur and Aras River, actually. Oh, so, okay. Sakatala. Then the second one is Balakan. Balakan. Balasakan. 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 Not so. Yes. As I mentioned before, the Masakets, the another name of Masakets was actually Sak people. Balasakan. Balakchan. So, that's all. Okay. So, actually, in my presentation, I have put Sakatala. As the main argument, so who was the ruler of Masakets? The male ruler, I guess. We don't have any information about the uh, male ruler. Actually, Tomris was Tomris was a female ruler. Yeah. And uh, in which part of the we already discussed all of them? Yeah, that's all. Okay. So let me to ask several questions from our previous classes. So Ihan, uh, what was the name of first state in Azerbaijan? Do you remember? Yeah, it's First. just um, Mania. Ma Mania. 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 Mania Kingdom. Yes, you are right. Perfect. So, uh, but Malik, what about um, the first human settlement in Azerbaijan? I don't remember that one. Maybe as a cave? Uh, oh, sorry. Yeah, as a cave. So I'm where like, where is located today? Yeah. In which territory of Azerbaijan is it located today? So, if you remember, Azerbaijani military forces actually liberated Mana. this region. Mana. No, Hojavand. Karabakh, Hojavand, okay? It's located in Hojavand, uh, Azur village or Hojavand. So, our military forces during the Second Karabakh War actually uh, re regained. Hojavan, and so we also liberated Hojavan, and as well as the, the one of the most ancient uh, human settlements uh, located in 
Hojavan, okay? As a cave. So what about Gobstan? Why it's interesting? So Hoja, so Gobstan. Can you please tell me one of the important uh, findings in Gobstan discoveries? Maybe, maybe Avaldash. Do you remember? Yes. Kavaldash and pictures uh, so describes the uh, oh. lifestyle of the people, ancient people. Yes. What was the Kavaldash? Why people use in Gobastan uh, in the past? Kavaldash. Instrument. What? Uh, uh, the Kavaldash was an instrument. Yeah, mu mu musical mu mu music instrument. Yes, uh, yes. So people use in different ceremonies, religious ceremonies. I was aware of the book. I, I just did that one in my book. Uh, dance. Yeah, dance. You're right. So, so many people uh, handing each other. So, uh, let's say that. Uh, so I didn't write that one down. Dance. You didn't get what? Bruh. Sorry, I didn't understand you, Malik. Can you please repeat? Yeah, I, I, I. I didn't write that one down because it was in my other book. Ah, okay. Okay, so uh, please use Google Classroom to reach my materials, to get my materials uh, from Azerbaijan history. Do you have any questions? I, I can't join your Google Classroom. You don't have my Google Classroom code? Let no, me share. I, I don't know why I can't join. So Google Classroom, yeah. Uh, okay, this is my Google Classroom code. Please uh, use a Google Classroom code to join uh, my classroom in Google. Google Classroom, actually. So, okay. Oh, sorry, sorry, it's not. Yeah. What? This is not for you, actually. So, let me erase it. Can you show us again? Ah, yeah. Okay. Okay. So, do you have any question? If we we have three minutes yet, if you have any question, please ask. If you don't have any question. So that's mm -hmm. all for today. So next week we we are going to learn about uh, so uh, the origin of Azerbaijan name Azerbaijan name of Azerbaijan. Okay, so one of the most uh, important state Atropaten in Azerbaijan and the southern part of Azerbaijan. Okay, guys, uh, have a nice weekend. So Bye. that's all. You too. Thank you very Bye. much for your participation. Bye. Bye-bye. See you next week. See you later. Next week, actually. <laughs>